Moving on to Urbana-Champagne, Microsoft Corporation and Intel Corporation combined to invest $10 million in a new research center focusing on parallel computing technology. Parallel computing will significantly boost power and speed, leading to breakthroughs in areas such as server technology, laptops, and mobile devices. NVIDIA Corporation, the worldwide leader in visual computing technologies, named the University of Illinois as the first CUDA Center of Excellence. CUDA is a suite of software programs used in parallel processing. The award includes $500,000 for the development of parallel computing facilities and research programs. Teaching assistant John Stratton, David Kirk, chief scientist at NVIDIA, and Wen Mei Hu, the AMD Jerry Sanders Chair of Electrical and Computer Engineering, taught an innovative new undergraduate class to help prepare computer science students for the massive changes resulting from parallel computing. PC Magazine named Illinois as America's most wired university in September, citing the campus's comprehensive approach to technology, including a long list of research-based courses, to laptop loan programs, to an expansive wireless network. Driving the campus's commitment to technology and computing are the endless new research and teaching opportunities created for Illinois faculty and students. The University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign plans to establish a major engineering research presence in Singapore that will focus on the Human Six Sense project that addresses the seamless integration of man, machine, and the environment in the digital age. The University of Illinois was well represented at the Olympics in Beijing. Seven Illinois alumni, among them Darren Williams in basketball and Justin Spring in gymnastics, were members of teams from the United States, Sweden, South Africa, Botswana, and Canada. More than 30 current and former student athletes and staff of the College of Applied Health Sciences Division of Disability and Educational Services participated in the Paralympic Games in Beijing. They represented teams from the U.S., Canada, Germany, and Australia in wheelchair track and road racing, wheelchair basketball, wheelchair rugby, and sitting volleyball. Among this group of athletes were 2007 Paralympian of the Year Jessica Galley and Paralympian Coach of the Year Adam Blakeney. Kevin Seitler is the visiting director of the new professional master's degree program in the Graduate College. The program combines advanced training in science or mathematics with graduate-level courses in business-related disciplines. The College of Media's Department of Journalism presented the inaugural Illinois Prize for Lifetime Achievement to Mike Wallace, CBS 60 Minutes correspondent, during a reception dinner and ceremony in New York. Speakers included Chancellor Richard Herman, Journalism Department Head Walt Harrington, Dean Ron Yates, and Wallace's friends and colleagues. In the College of Engineering, undergraduate Patrick Walsh invented a battery-powered, solar-charged LED lamp that earned him the $30,000 Lemelson, Illinois Student Prize. Walsh's lantern will replace the need for buying costly kerosene by people in less developed countries. These lanterns will benefit 1.6 billion people. In the largest field trial of its kind in the United States, researchers have determined that the giant perennial grass, Miscanthus x giganteus, outperforms current biofuel sources by a lot. Using Miscanthus as a feedstock for ethanol production in the U.S. could significantly reduce the acreage dedicated to biofuels while meeting government biofuels production goals, says Illinois Crop Sciences professor Stephen P. Long. Long is also deputy director of the BP-sponsored Energy Biosciences Institute, a multi-year, multi-institutional initiative aimed at finding low-carbon or carbon-neutral alternatives to petroleum-based fuels. Graduate student Frank Dolman co-authored the study. The Robert E. Brown Center for World Music opened in the College of Fine and Applied Arts. Law professor Patrick Keenan was featured on WILL-TV's Prairie Fire, highlighting his recent trip to Kenya to work with the Maasai communities at the northern edge of the Serengeti. The program was produced by Nancy Jane Benson. Keenan, who heads the Human Rights Law Clinic at the U of I, developed an interest in Africa as a Peace Corps volunteer in the Congo in the early 90s. Now he travels to parts of Africa, helping local people access legal tools to improve their lives. 
I thought they would say things like HIV or globalization, but one of the most important problems after the the way that girls and women are treated. The next problem was human wildlife conflict. If the government has to pay a lot of compensation every time the elephants or the Cape Buffalo or the lions get out of the park and do damage to a person or to our crops or our houses, then the park rangers and other people will do a much better job managing the population of animals in the park. Also visiting Africa were students and faculty from the Graduate School of Library and Information Science who traveled to So Tome in West Africa to install computer labs for middle school students and provide technology training for high school students. This visit was a continuation of a two-year project that aims to improve information access and infrastructure in the West African nation. In the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, Chemistry professor Eric Oldfield led researchers at the University of Illinois in a collaborative effort with the University of California at San Diego that developed a new treatment for serious staph infections. Research by anthropologists in the College of LAS suggests that early humans settled in the area between Siberia and Alaska for 15,000 years, isolated by the Ice Age, before spreading rapidly into the Americas. Peter Roloff, a 2008 College of Medicine graduate, heads a group working on medical care, education, international liaison, and publication of a bilingual reference book of common diseases and herbal remedies for Guatemala's indigenous Mayan population. Mark Testa, associate professor and director of the Children and Family Research Center, has led a series of studies showing that family guardians are wonderful caregivers for children who might otherwise have languished in foster care. For the third straight year, University Laboratory High School was named a public elite high school by Newsweek. Uni also ranked second on a list of 17 high-performing high schools by the Washington Post. Craig Russell, executive director of Uni's math department, won the Mathematical Association of America's Edith May Slife Award for top high school math teachers. The American Accounting Association awarded its prestigious Notable Contributions to the Auditing Literature Award to Professor Ira Solomon, who holds the Robert C. Evans Chair in the Department of Accountancy in the College of Business. In the College of Veterinary Medicine's Reproductive Biology Group, Humphrey Yao landed the 2008 New Investigator Award from the Society for the Study of Reproduction. Tim Fan heads a team that includes research assistant Ian Sprandl in the College of Veterinary Medicine that is conducting exciting cancer research in cross-campus collaboration with the bioengineering and chemistry departments. Dorothy Espelage, a professor of educational psychology, served as a consultant on Stories of Us, a film that is used in an anti-bullying prevention program. The Intramural Physical Education Building, which opened in 1972, has been renovated and reopened as the Activities and Recreation Center, providing both students and the community with one of the finest recreation facilities in the country. The School of Social Work expects to move into its new home in January 2009. A major renovation of historic Memorial Stadium has been completed to upgrade the facility consistent with the proud history of Illinois football. The Memorial Stadium renovation includes improved sight lines, wider concourses, improved concessions, new restrooms, a state-of-the-art press box, and outstanding hospitality facilities, including 42 luxury suites on both the first and second levels. The north end zone seating expansion includes a weight room, training facilities, and meeting space. The $60 million business instructional facility opened as the first green building on campus to earn the national LEED certification at the gold level. The new green building will be 40 to 50 percent more energy efficient than similar buildings on campus through the use of triple pane windows, a thermodynamic air displacement system, and a greater amount of insulation. Five to seven percent of the building's electrical needs will be met by solar power alone. There will be more sweet music on the South Campus next year when the Sarah Sally McFarland Carillon is constructed. The Bell Tower project has been actively encouraged and generously funded by Illinois alumnus Dick McFarland in memory of his wife. 
also continuing to feature sweet music and other aspects of the arts, is the Cranert Center for the Performing Arts, under the direction of Mike Ross. MacArthur Genius Award-winning choreographer Liz Lerman said of Cranert, Among its many wonders is the way inquiry lives at the core of its presentations, making the work central to questions about democracy and what it means to be a citizen of an institution and of our country. The Urbana-Champaign campus, which is home to more international students seeking degrees than any other public university, won the prestigious 2008 Senator Paul Simon Award for campus internationalization. The College of Communications, which includes the Departments of Journalism and Advertising, and the Institute of Communications Research, is now the College of Media. Among the new changes in the College of Media is the creation of the Department of Media and Cinema Studies. The Institute of Labor and Industrial Relations is now the School of Labor and Employment Relations. This year marked the 20th anniversary for the East St. Louis Action Research Project, a community assistance and development project involving University of Illinois students and faculty volunteers. For example, students working with Opal's House, a women's shelter in East St. Louis, developed a wish list to help furnish the shelter. As the semester was over, students spent a day canning the quad at Urbana and raised $200 in change for Opal's House. This was just one instance of the 14,577 student volunteers who donated 78,412 hours to 200 area agencies. A new postage stamp commemorating the achievements of former University of Illinois faculty member and two-time Nobel Prize winner John Bardeen was unveiled at a campus ceremony in March. His foremost protege, Nick Hollenyak Jr., a John Bardeen professor of electrical and computer engineering and physics, was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. A few weeks ago, research professor of physics Charles Slichter was presented with the 2007 National Medal of Science at the White House by President Bush. Slichter, who is also a Center for Advanced Study Emeritus Professor of Physics and Chemistry at Illinois, was awarded the nation's highest honor in science for his extraordinary work in nuclear magnetic resonance. The new Aiken Chair is Donna Cox, Director of NCSA's Advanced Visualization Laboratory and a professor in the College of Fine and Applied Arts. Dr. Cox said, It is here at the University of Illinois that I could realize my vision to converge two of the most powerful forces in our culture, art and science, through advanced computer technology. Jane Block, the head of the Ricker Library of Architecture and Art, was honored by the Belgian government for her scholarship on the art and culture of Belgium. Law professor Andrew Leopold was appointed to the Judicial Conference Advisory Committee on Criminal Rules. Vernon Burton, professor of history and sociology, was awarded the Chicago Tribune's Heartland Society Prize for his book, The Age of Lincoln. Reviewer John David Smith wrote, If the Civil War era was America's Iliad, then historian Orville Vernon Burton is our latest Homer. Dr. Lorene Cowan, Assistant Chancellor and Director of Affirmative Action, received the Agretha Award for Education. The award honors outstanding African-American women. Alejandro Yeras, Professor of Psychology and Beckman Institute faculty member, received an Early Faculty Career Award from the National Foundation. Ryan Bailey, Associate Professor of Chemistry, received the 2007 National Institutes of Health Director's New Innovator Award. Ken Page, Professor and Head of the Department of Animal Biology, was among four professors named as Fellows in the American Association for the Advancement of Science. The others included Edmund G. Seabauer, Professor of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering, Scott Silverman, Associate Professor of Chemistry, Biochemistry, and Biophysics, and Don Wubble, Professor of Atmospheric Sciences and Electrical and Computer Engineering. Chancellor Richard Herman and Jeffrey Moore, the Murchison Mallory Professor of Chemistry at Illinois, have been elected to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Robert H. Dodds, Jr., the M.T. Jeffrey Yeh Chair of Civil Engineering and head of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, 
was elected to the National Academy of Engineering among the highest distinctions in that profession. James D. Anderson, the Gutskill Professor of Educational Policy Studies and Chair of the Department of Educational Policy Studies, was elected to membership in the National Academy of Education, the highest honor in the field of educational scholarship. Ravi Shankar Ravi Iyer, the George and Ann Fisher Distinguished Professor of Engineering and Director of the Coordinated Science Laboratory, was chosen to serve as Interim Vice-Chancellor for Research. Dabashish Dada will be the new Dean of the Graduate College and Associate Provost effective January 2009.